Chapter 30 The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaks the Lord, the God of Israel, saying, Write all the words that I have spoken to you in a book. For behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will turn again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, says the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. These are the words that the Lord spoke concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus says the Lord, We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and a knot of peace. Ask now and see whether a man does travail with child. Why do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail? And all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. It shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord of armies, that I will break his yoke from off your neck, and will burst your bonds, and strangers shall no more make him their bond servant. But they shall serve the Lord their God, and David their king, whom I will raise up to them. Therefore don't be afraid, O Jacob my servant, says the Lord. Neither be dismayed, Israel, for behold, I will save you from afar, and your seed from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return, and shall be quiet and at ease, and none shall make him afraid. For I am with you, says the Lord, to save you. For I will make a full end of all the nations where I have scattered you, but I will not make a full end of you, but I will correct you in measure, and will in no way leave you unpunished. For thus says the Lord, your hurt is incurable, and your wound grievous. There is none to plead your cause, that you may be bound up. You have no healing medicines. All your lovers have forgotten you. They don't seek you, for I have wounded you with the wound of an enemy, with the chastisement of a cruel one, for the greatness of your iniquity, because your sins were increased. Why do you cry for your hurt? Your pain is incurable. For the greatness of your iniquity, because your sins were increased, I have done these things to you. Therefore all those who devour you shall be devoured, and all your adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And those who despoil you shall be a spoil, and all who prey on you I will give for a prey. For I will restore health to you, and I will heal you of your wounds, says the Lord, because they have called you an outcast, saying, it is Zion, whom no man seeks after. Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will turn again the captivity of Jacob's tents, and have compassion on his dwelling places, and the city shall be built on its own hill, and the palace shall be inhabited after its own manner. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of those who make merry, and I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small. Their children also shall be as before, and their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all who oppress them. Their prince shall be of themselves, and their ruler shall proceed from the midst of them, and I will cause him to draw near, and he shall approach me. For who is he who has had boldness to approach me, says the Lord? You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Behold, the tempest of the Lord, even his wrath, has gone forth. A sweeping tempest, it shall burst on the head of the wicked. The fierce anger of the Lord shall not return, until he has executed, and until he has performed the intents of his heart. In the latter days you shall understand it.